what how they say without further ado brrr, here you go check him out you know the internet undefeated and truth don't need no co-founder. You heard me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, once I told them my real you reached out to me and, and they heard about it. And then the next street that I know standing on law and standing on business, you know, they like, man, listen, man, I don't even pay that time, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, use your light to bring them out they dogs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen. <laughs> it's good. It's good to hear. That he ain't embarrassed, but oh, it's good to hear he ain't run to that dope. And like, it just didn't, because you know, sometimes a person uh, can only take so much to where they're a result to something that they're comfortable with and might run to a drug. And it's good that he ain't run to that drug at level five and, and just like, man, I'm ready to high, I give up. And he's still pushing. I'm going to have, a, I'm still going to be the comeback all this other year. But it's two things I would like to address about that phone conversation. And it's good that whoever told him that, you know, to, to boost him up, get him, you know, back up and pumping, it's good they put that in his head. But um, when he stated that we trying to use his light to shine on our dog, We trying to use his light to shine on our darkness. Now y'all know we ain't whacking at it. But y'all also do know that whack name been ringing for a while now. And it's like whack, whack remind me like everybody hate Chris because everybody be telling whack. Nobody can stand whack. Um, and y'all know I've been home a, a year and 11 months, go with January the 3rd, be two years for me. And I've been burning this internet up. So, I said to say this here, me and Wag both had light. I will say this. I'm the one that shed the light on BG. That's right. And I'm going to show you how. When Jizzle come home, I'm the one was pumping the cash money stories. I'm the one was like, man, you gotta, you gotta rap, you gotta do this. When everybody came at BG about that zesty stuff, I'm the one that spoke up for him. They had a few other people that came to the rescue, but I'm the one that spoke up for him. Um, but the facts still remain, and 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 I'm gonna stand on this ten toes down. How y'all say? I'm standing on this here. The brother Kentrell have a right. A majority of y'all trying to take this man right from him. If he decides to say, no, I won't take that gun. How many of us go to go, go to court, say, all right, my plea, no, nah, I won't take my guilty plea, but I won't go to trial. Or, nah, man, I haven't found it. Nah, I don't want to do that. That man got a right. Y'all can't force this man to stick to that. I'm going to plead guilty. Where y'all getting this goofy stuff from? Y'all can't make that man stick to, I want to take this gun. If I want to, no, I want to take that gun shot. But with everybody looking over, I noticed, because at first a lot of people were like, what the paperwork, what the paperwork, what, what he did. That thing came out, 1090 put it out. 1090 put that thing out. That PG. And 1090 broke it down too in the conversation. 1090 exact words were. Matter of fact, it, it, listen, to this, this is exact words right here. BG could have went inside of the grand jury and said, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't recall. But that would have left opportunity for the feds to take that so charge now, and put it on BG. A lot of y'all could try to justify, oh, what the dude said he was going to, no, no, no. Regardless the dude say he was going to take that gun charge, Jizzle Blunt had no business going to that grand jury and got him indicted. That's what put the nail in the coffin. I don't care how y'all look at it. Y'all try to justify that stuff. That was wrong. Straight up. That man went to the grand jury and got up there and said, yeah, that come on, bro. And it's, and it's sad how a lot of you street dudes, dudes who say they're standing on business, trying to look over that fact. 
But unless that would have been somebody else, instead of y'all favorite rapper, a lot of y'all would be like, you know what? You got a good point. He should have never got on that stage. He should have never went to that grand jury. But because this is y'all favorite rapper, and some of y'all depending on him to get what y'all need to get, now we're going to look over. We're going to look That's a big fact we're going to look over. That he went to that grand jury and got that boy indicted. We're going to just look over that. But my thing is, Kentrell still have a right. Y'all sounded like the prosecutor, like y'all on their side, like, no, you say you're gonna take it, you gotta take it, now take it, shut up and take, take that, take that, take that. Y'all puff that in that man. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> this stuff is crazy, yo. Bro, bro. I've been saying for the longest. I'm the big homie for the rats. I'm the big homie for the rats now. Y'all know, but check my videos. I've been screaming it for the long. The big home for the rats. So, everybody who cooperated, it's a lot of money. Real too, it's a lot of money in the room. Y'all need to check in, man. Y'all need to pay them ties. Y'all need to hide that OG. Y'all need to check in and pay them ties, man. Pay them ties, yo. Because, listen, man, this stuff ain't, man, no. No, no, no. Bro. We actually gonna look over this man. And I say this too, I say when they went to the grand jury, that's what got him in that. I say I kept saying, when you get locked up by the fair, you only you only own a complaint. They only have you for a, a complaint. Once whoever go to the grand jury, that's when they supersede and hit you, hit you, okay, we got you now, here you go. Hold that. And that's what BG and Blunt did. And Ten Nine explained that to y'all on there. But anyway, and just to shed light on, you know, the people that speak out of ignorance. The feds been stopped putting deceased on our competition sheet. They used to put 540, 540 on there. Anybody with a life sentence can contest to this who I know for a fact got locked up in the 90s. They been stopped putting it. So a lot of people speak out of ignorance. You know, um, I just wanted to bring that up because a lot of dudes, they 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 just got locked up, was running, you know, with the car, but was you know like a little whatever, like this deal with no voice for the car, whatever. This was still whatever the case may be, but um, I'm like I like the fact that he's speaking out. You know, he he, he did his phone call. He made a phone call, like, yeah, man, I'm holding my head. I ain't going to let that get to me. You can't let it get to you. And you know what this is? Y'all ever noticed this here? All of us, everybody who didn't, who, didn't, who, didn't, who didn't cooperate with that government, we always say, man, I ain't tripping, man. I'm going to hold my head. I ain't mad. I... You can't be mad. You did it. You tell our man, man, it's okay. This is TYC, I'll take your charge. Um, I know that's shocking to a lot of people, too. I, it's something else I don't want to say, but I ain't gonna say it. But because I see, yeah, it was like, oh, whoa. But uh, and a lot of people try to sweep that too. But nah, but I'm gonna be honest. So it's a big dog. Everybody, anybody who done been to the feds since the '90s, from the '90s on to the 2000s, that been in the penitentiaries, no tone, heard a tone, no tone from DC. And he spoke out on that. He must say no. That's a no-no. Anybody been in that penitentiary know good and well. If that, if Jizzle go back, we hope he don't. Go back on violation and try to go to one of the penitentiaries. And that paperwork right there here, the penitentiary compound. He not going to stay on that compound. I don't care how much y'all try to argue, make y'all make video. Everybody been in that federal prison know good and well. He's not going to stay on that compound with that paperwork lurking. Facts.